Traits of Genius Communicators. Hey, this is Harry and welcome to this episode of The Harry Show. Today I'm going to talk about communication. And communication is the canvas that binds everybody on the planet. If we would not be able to communicate, we'd not be able to do all of these amazing things that we've done. So therefore, our ability to communicate effectively has a lot to do with our ability to grow in life our ability to do good things in our career and our profession, our ability to make an impact on the planet. So what is it that differentiates genius communicators from everybody else? Let's dive in. The first trait of genius communicators is slow pace of speaking. Over and over again, research has associated the slow pace of speaking to credibility, to thoughtfulness, to deep thinking, many things that we all want to develop. Research has also found that we are more likely to vote for politicians that speak at a slower pace. Interesting, right? does not really make sense, but that's how our brain is wired to think. People love listening to people who speak at a slower pace because it gives them time to reflect on the information, to process the information, to digest the information so that they can eventually use that information, act on that information, right? So slow pace of speaking. The second trait of genius communicators and this is something that I found in my research for my book, Legendary Consulting, how to consult like the top 1%. When I was actually, you know, interviewing people and getting to know what is it that differentiates great consultants from everybody else. So one of those things that I identified that made communicators sound like great communicators was bullet point speaking. So what is bullet point speaking? It is it is communicating your messages in bullet points. So when you have something to say, structuring it in bullet points. Somebody asks you, what is it that we should do next in this project? What is a non bullet point way of speaking? Non bullet point way of speaking is, yeah, this project has gone well so far. You know, moving forward, we could spend some more time on market research. We could look into the data. We could even look into the solutions that we want to develop for our client. So there is, uh, but the but the thing things have gone okay so far. And let's see what we want to do. I think. What do you think? Now this is a non-bullet point way of speaking. Non-bullet point way of responding to a question. What is a bullet point way of responding to the same question? What is it that we should do next in this project? A bullet point way is moving forward in this project, we have three main paths we can pursue. We could spend more time on market research. We could go into data collection or we could go into solution development. Now, do you see how different it sounds? how easy to remember it is, how memorable it is. And this is what I found all the great communicators were doing. They were speaking in bullet points. As a, as a result, they were so much more clear to the listeners. As a result, they were much more easy to process and comprehend. As a result, they were more memorable and they were easy to work with. Simple bullet point speaking structuring your messages in a specific number of points just like I'm doing right now right slow pace of speaking bullet points and finally the third trait of genius communicators is open body language 
Now research is finding that research has found and this was a research done by Professor Morabian which was published in the book Silent Messages which found that 55% of our communication is actually body language, right? So what is the right body language? The right body language is open body language, where our chest is open because this is how we connect with other people. If our chest is blocked, if we're talking like this, if we are standing with our arms crossed, if something is blocking our chest, then that restricts connection. Right? So we want to practice an open body language. These three simple traits you can include, you can, you can start adding to your style starting today. And yes, some of these would take some time to develop and master. But if you get started on it, you are more likely to get into it. Right? Slow pace, speaking in bullet points and keeping an open body language. This is Harry, Traits of Genius Communicators, signing off. I'll see you in the next video. What did you learn from this video? Comment below and let me know. I read every single comment on my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. We already have a lot of videos on our channel check the playlist on marketing, sales, communication, leadership, influence, persuasion, all of these skills that will help you transform the game and raise your career to the next level.